Today, travellers crossing Mount Hotham along the Great Alpine Road pass by this remote, rugged and isolated wilderness once known as the Black Hole. During Victoria's golden era many years ago, this was a bustling mining landscape. This is one of the most remarkable sights in the black hole. It's not a great big powerful stamp battery or a rusty old boiler, but it's a neatly stacked pile of rocks. A pile of rocks that gives us an insight into an individual who lived in a black hole for many decades. That individual was Peter McDuff. Peter McDuff was born in 1838 in central Scotland near the Southern Highlands. He left his native land at the age of 18 and headed for New Zealand. His life's a bit sketchy after that, but he ended up on the Victorian goldfields at some point at Ballarat. He then made his way to nearby here in the northeast to the Upper Dargo diggings. Prospected around there for a little bit, but didn't have much luck. Then in the early 1880s, he ended up here in the black hole. This is great, this is a little blacksmith shop that Peter Macduff had set up behind his hut. You can see the forge here, and you can almost imagine Macduff standing right here, pumping his bellows with his pick heads on the forge, getting them red hot, and then swinging them around to his anvil, which would have been right here, and then sharpening the points on his, on his pick heads. And you could almost hear the echoing of metal against metal in the hills around here. This is great, this just gives you so much insight into the daily activities of a miner living up in the black hole. This is Macduff's impressive chimney. You can almost imagine him sitting here stirring his porridge or in the evenings his possum stew. On a dark cold winter's night he probably weighed up his gold or even played the bagpipes and haunted the Chinese miners up and down here in the black hole. In 1919 a group of miners passed by and called in to visit Macduff and they found a crook on the floor of his hut. They took him down to the Bright Hospital, but he died within a couple of days. Macduff was 81 years of age. Macduff had spent more than half of his life living up here in a black hole and working alluvial gold deposits. Although Macduff was buried in a pauper's grave in the Bright Cemetery, I reckon Macduff still lingers around this site today, up here in the remote black hole. <laughs>